In this video, I'm going to talk about finding the area of a regular polygon using only the apothem. Okay, well, our normal uh, formula we have to find the area of a regular polygon is one-half the apothem times the perimeter. But how could we kind of change this a little bit to get rid of the perimeter and to have only the apothem? So we're going to start by looking at a regular hexagon. It has six sides, and the apothem is going to be the line from the middle of the figure down and perpendicular to one of the sides. So just like that, that's our apothem, this line. Okay, so our P is our perimeter. That's the distance around the figure, or all the lengths of the sides added together. And we'll also use the notion that the length of just one side is the entire perimeter divided by the number of sides we have. So we could say the length right here of this side is the perimeter divided by the number of sides we have. And we're going to keep things very general. I'm not going to be specific for a hexagon. We're going to keep everything general so we can generalize our formula later on. Okay, well let's take a look at this. We have our figure and our apothem comes down and makes a right angle. I bet if I drew a line from the center to a vertex, right, I could get a nice right triangle. Well, let's make that right triangle a little bigger, just so we can kind of get a better view of it. We can manipulate it a little bit here. I know this is my apothem. And this whole side is P divided by N. But the base of my right triangle, just this rascal, is going to be half of that. So I could take that and times it by a half if I wanted to. So it would be P over 2N. Okay, so I'm looking at my right triangle here, and I have the apothem is the height, and the base is P divided by 2N. I'm going to use a trig ratio for this angle down here that we can call theta, and it's going to combine this side and this side, so the opposite and adjacent. Well, the uh, trig ratio that I'm going to use is tangent. That's going to be the opposite, which is A, over the adjacent, which is p over 2n. But we don't really like having this complex fraction, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to bring it over here and say the tangent of theta equals, when I bring that up, it'll be 2an over p. Okay, we're going to talk about this angle theta here in a little bit, but let's uh, finish up what we're doing with this formula. So I can actually solve for p by multiplying both sides by p and then dividing both sides by tangent. Okay, so the tangents cancel, these p's cancel. And what I left with here is the perimeter equals 2an over the tangent of theta. Well, I'm going to start with its original formula. The area equals 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. And I'm going to substitute this stuff right here, this expression, in for the perimeter. So, this is what I have. The area equals one-half times the apothem, and then instead of perimeter, I'm going to put this 2an over tan theta in there. Okay, well I've kind of gotten rid of my perimeter now, and I have the apothem a couple places, but I have two new values. So I have n, and I have this theta. Well, what's that theta going to be? Well, let's simplify this a little bit, and then we'll take a look at what the theta is. So the 2 on top and the 2 on bottom can cancel. The a times the a will be a squared times n over the tangent of theta. Well, this theta. Okay, so he's going to be an angle, and it looks like he's going to be half an interior angle. Okay, well, we know in a regular polygon that all of the interior angles are the same in measure, so, and we also have a formula to find that. So we have the total degrees, total degrees inside of a regular polygon is given by 180 and then times the quantity n minus 2. But I can kind of change that and say over n and that will give me total degrees for each interior angle. Okay, so what that means is that this formula here, 180 times the quantity n minus 2 all over n, 
is going to give us the measure of these interior angles here and all over. And remember, since it's a regular polygon, all of these are the same anyway. So my theta is going to be half of one of those. So I could take my formula and say 180 times this quantity over n, and I could times it by 1 half, where you could put a 2 down here at the n, or you could reduce a little bit and cancel it out. Okay, so my theta is actually going to turn into 90 times n minus 2 over n, or if you wanted to uh, distribute that, maybe simplify it a little, 90n minus 180, and each of those terms is over n. Yeah, you'll see those are going to cancel out. So ultimately my value of theta could be 90 minus 180 over n. So this theta is going to be measured in degrees. Since we have our 180 and 90, there's going to be degrees. And this n is going to be the number of sides that my regular polygon has. So I could take this value that's equivalent to my theta, and I could substitute it in my theta. So I could say the area of a regular polygon is going to be a squared over n, um, all, all over, not times, all over, this tangent of, and it's going to be this 90 minus 180 divided by n. So right there is a formula that we're going to use that uses only the apothem and the number of sides that our figure has. So this kind of takes the perimeter aspect away from it. You don't have to know two pieces of information. You only need one, just the apothem length. Uh, I guess I'm assuming that this n value you know, if they're asking you to find the area of, say, an octagon, you're going to say n is 8, or maybe a pentagon, and your n is going to be 5. So your n value is how many sides your regular polygon has, and your a is going to be the length of the apothem. So here's a formula we can use to find the area of a regular polygon.